welcome back to my channel if you don't know me my name is katie i makes the vegan okay so boom so I'm about to do one of my favorite videos i don't know it's probably like episode 11 12 73 i don't know of what i've been eating i like to just highlight some of the things that like i make but don't feel necessarily because you know sometimes you get in the food rut. i feel like i'm in the food rut right now actually huh like you just don't know what to be eating so sometimes you either just don't eat or you just i don't know vibe it out till you figure something out but anyway i love these videos and i'm gonna show you some of the things i've been eating as always, let me know if you want a recipe something, I'm happy to film it again. Some of these I did film, so if you want the recipe for it, let me know, but like, I'm always happy to share it. This is a community, community. Shout out to Gorilla. Anyway, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you never miss any of my videos, and let's get started. There's no recipes, like I said, but you know, let me know. Okay, 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 let's go. Okay, so every once in a while, the Asian market never me acts right, and they have like all of the vegan things they offer, because sometimes like the shelves be empty. I'm like, hello, what's going on? And so they had some vegan shrimps. Now, I got a comment that I deleted that was like, yeah, you don't like meat, so you eat fake meat. I'm like, yeah, why don't you mind your business? Like, some, like I don't actually want shrimp. Like, I don't want to eat an animal. So they had these vegan shrimps. They're by Very Soy. I use that brand a lot on this channel. And um, I made some shrimp tacos with them. I was feeling it. I did like a little uh, slaw situation. Honestly, it was just a coleslaw packet from Trader Joe's, and I, um, took the, the packet out and threw that away. <laughs> and I um, made my own little slaw to put, like little dressing to put over it. I, I tempura fried the uh, scrimps and then I served it with a little bit of rice and I made my pinto beans a little different. Like, they weren't refried, but like I made the, I just didn't smash them up. Very good. I said, girl, you are living. This was so good. I'm like, I have to make this more often, child. It was so good. It was so good. Oh my God. Speaking of shrimp, I've had like the taste for sushi and I make sushi all the time. Like I, I feel like that's normal, but apparently not. Like I remember like I had a job a couple of years ago and I just had my little sushi roll on my desk and my boss was like, you make that? I said, yeah. He said, what? I said, yeah, you just roll it like that. But anyway, I had a really intense flavor for some sushi and I don't like buying sushi because I think it's a ripoff because I'm not gonna pay $15 for an avocado roll. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna make some. And I was driving, I was like, I should tempura because I've never done that before. So I made a sushi roll using some of that leftover fried shrimp that I had. And I like rolled it up and I fried the whole roll. And I was like, how this gonna go? It went well. And then I served it with like um, some edamame that I got from Sprouts. I didn't know, I never bought edamame before, but I was like, I want the whole vibe. You gotta you got commit to the bit, you know what I'm saying? So I had like the little edamame and I made a little sauce. Baby, let me tell you. It's so simple, but it's like, yeah. It's soy sauce, uh, what's it called? Black Chinese vinegar, Chinese black vinegar, whatever. And then um, some a little bit of sesame oil and some scallion. Simple, but just like, very good. <laughs> I'm like, girl, you are living. You are living? Okay, a couple weeks ago, my friend graduated law school. Like, he was already a lawyer. He did some master's, some, girl, I don't know. I was just there. I was just supporting. Some master's in law, some, whatever so I, he I, he was in dc he graduated from george washington whatever school over there in law whatever so <laughs> i was like i did an in and out same day because scheduling wise and i was like okay i'm in dc dc has a great vegan scene i'm gonna get brunch and i went to dc vegan it was great surprised i've never been there before because i've been to dc a number of times um and it was great it was a vibe like Sometimes I'd be like, uh, what to get? Cause I can make this at home. And I got the calamari and there's this restaurant in Charleston, South Carolina that does an amazing vegan calamari. What is it called? Not me forgetting. The Neon Tiger. If you're in the area, you have to go. I'm thinking about making a stop <laughs> there in the next couple months just to go to that restaurant. I mean, my friend lives there too, but you know, anyway. So I got some calamari that was very delightful. It was very good. I was like, hmm. And then, I wanted to get, they had these like lemon ricotta pancakes, like vegan, whatever. And I was like, I should have got that. Cause I got the breakfast bowl, which was fine, but I could have made that at home. I don't like getting stuff I can make at home. And what was interesting to me is, you know, I think I've been vegan for seven years, about to be eight. They had like these uh, rice paper bacons and I took a bite of it. I was like, oh no, I can't do this. It tasted too much like bacon. But to be fair, like, I don't remember what bacon tastes like. It's been so long at this point but i was like oh no i can't do this but it was fine that was fine but the calamari was very good mimosas were good what else did i get yeah it was fine i'll go back it was great 
Okay, I do love a theater moment. I do like to, you know, switch it up. You can't always go to brunch, girl. So I went to go see Steel Magnolias at Theater Memphis a couple weeks ago. Was it a month ago at this point? I don't know. Play was okay. Actors did great. Didn't love the play. But in between like my little, like, I have, I teach. And in between that, I wouldn't have had time to get dinner in between the show and I don't like eating late. So I'm like, I'm gonna pack me a little bento box. I see the TikTok girl is doing that little bento box. I'm like, okay, what am I gonna put in there? You know, very much giving, we packing a dinner. So I did like uh, a chicken salad sandwich on um, those vegan croissants from Whole Foods. The chicken salad comes out really well. I used to love chicken salad before going vegan. Corner Bakery used to do like a very good one. I don't know what they're doing right now. And soy curls work very well in a vegan chicken salad. Like I did it a couple years ago. Like I did a tea party for my grandmother and my godmother and they ate them. Okay, cause it gives chicken salad. Like it was it was very tasty. So I did a chicken salad uh, sandwich and then I did a pasta salad and then like some other stuff. I think I had some chips. I didn't even eat all of it. I don't know who I was feeling like. Um, I did some like chips and oh, sprouts. They have these new candies. Oh my God, I don't know if your sprouts got them girl, but mine does. Okay, they have these vegan gummies. They're so good. They're made with like, you know, not gelatin. And so I had some of those. I didn't eat everything. Oh, and I also made those cookies that you saw a couple weeks ago. Maybe in my last video, honestly, at this point. It's been busy, y'all. I'm sorry. It's been so busy. But um, yeah, uh, I don't recommend the bento box thing. All my chips were soggy. The pasta salad went everywhere. The girls are lying. Now, is it because I bought mine for $6 at Home Goods? Maybe, but the girls are lying to you. The bento box is chaotic. I don't know. I don't know, I don't know. But the sandwich was good, pasta salad was good, and the play was okay, so it balanced out. <laughs> this past Monday was Memorial Day in America, and I was like, what are we gonna do? And I'm like, the most. So I went to a Walmart and I bought me a little grill because I had a propane grill before, but I threw it away. Yeah, because it had like meat on it. It was, I had it before I went vegan, so I think, when I moved to Rochester, where I lived before Memphis, I threw away. So I was like, let's do a propane moment because sometimes charcoal will embarrass you. And once I figured out how to turn it on, in that I called my friend and asked him how to turn it on. Um, I was like, we jerking some chicken. Like I feel like some jerk chicken. I bought some sausages. I rarely buy the impossible sausages. Are they impossible? Beyond sausages because they kind of give me the ick a little bit. But I was feeling froggy uh this past weekend so i jerked my wings i got some very soy wings i jerked them i said yes go on with it and then i made some potato salad and i made some rice and peas which came out kind of plucka plucka i'm kind of irritated about that and i made some mac and cheese i don't have footage of everything i was supposed to film it y'all i don't know what happened you know what happened i just got overwhelmed because i forgot every time i'll be like let's go outside oh my god i want to go outside i forget outside is out there mosquitoes they didn't care nothing about my little candle my little candle for the mosquito they didn't care i was it was too much going on i knocked my drink over i came back inside i was outside for like 30 minutes it was crazy um but yeah it was fun i had a good time and let me know if you want to see your recipe because all of these things i just said are on my channel maybe not the potato salad potato salad was fine very good um but all these things are on my channel but let me know if you want to see it in co a cohesive video because i would definitely do it again yeah cause I, gotta, I gotta grill She's cute. She's very cheap. So if you want to hurry up, I don't know how, you know, I can only go to Walmart like twice a year. So that was one of them. And um, it was $30. So if you want that video, hurry up because I don't know what's going to happen to the grill. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Let me know if there's anything you will see a recipe for. If you made it this far in the video, let me know if there's anything you want me to make because I love suggestions. I love hearing from y'all. I love talking to y'all. Uh, but yeah, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe so you don't miss any of my videos while you're here. That was so Jamaica, so you don't miss any of my videos. So you don't miss any of my videos while you're here. Check out my other videos because you know I said my videos. Thank you again, and I will catch you in the next one. Bye, y'all.